You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, at the Sakhir Palace today, in the presence of His Majesty the King's Representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. During the meeting, His Highness Sheikh Khalid presented the Bahrain National Athletics Team after having won the 23rd Asian Athletic Championship last April in Qatar. The team won an overall total of 22 medals, which was the highest number per team in the tournament, 11 of which were golden, 7 silver and 4 bronze. His Majesty the King expressed his gratitude for the athletes and congratulated them for their excellent performance as evidenced by their keenness on achieving high honors in the tournament. His Majesty affirmed that the Sports Federation in Bahrain have achieved great success in this year of gold medals, which he said evokes pride and appreciation and reflects the ambitions of Bahraini youth. His Majesty said the sporting achievement represents an incentive for further success in all fields in the service of the kingdom and that he looks forward to seeing such success materialize in the future. His Majesty also expressed appreciation for the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser and His Highness Sheikh Khalid to further the cause of Bahraini sports and for empowering the youth to achieve great success, which raises the profile of the country in the world of sports. His Majesty thanked the efforts of the President of the Athletics Association and all of its athletes for the results they have achieved and affirmed His Majesty's support for all matters related to the youth and sports. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed pride and appreciation for His Majesty's reception of the national team's athletes, which he said reflects the generous paternal interest that His Majesty has in the success and well-being of the Bahraini youth, as demonstrated by His Majesty's constant support for them in the field of sports regionally and globally. His Honor Sheikh Khalid said that His Majesty's support for the youth is crucial in empowering them to make positive contributions in the field and to create the optimal sporting climate for them in the country. His Highness added that His Majesty's reception incentivizes the youth to work towards further achievements and vowed that such achievements will continue to raise Bahrain's profile in the world of sports. For their part, the athletes of the national team expressed their deep appreciation and gratitude for His Majesty's constant support and encouragement.
The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the Bahrain mixed martial arts is steadily developing due to the successful strategy laid out by the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, and Honorary President of the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that such strategy has ensured Bahrain to attain advanced achievements on the regional and international levels. Sheikh Nasser said that the international Mixed Martial Arts Federation, the IMMAF, has issued its global ranking with the Kingdom of Bahrain topping the list due to the development and growth the sports has witnessed as well as the professional work made by His Highness Sheikh Khalid. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that the achievements of the Bahrain MMA team are highlighted by their victory in Africa's Open MMA Championship for Amateurs as well as their achievements in second place in Asia's Open MMA Championship for Amateurs which contributed Bahrain's overall achievement in the MMA sport making it a destination for this sport in the Middle East. His Highness Sheikh Nasser concluded by commending the efforts exerted by the Bahrain MMA team and their keenness to achieve first place in different championships and elevating the kingdom's status. His Highness wished the administrative and technical team further achievements. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa over Bahrain's achieving advanced positions in the IMMAF ranking. This top international ranking came after the Bahrain national MMA team won the first place in Africa Open MMA Championship for Amateurs held in Johannesburg. Bahrain also won the second place in Asia Open MMA Championship for Amateurs held in Bangkok. His Highness Sheikh Khalid praised the sport achievements, thanking the patronage of His Majesty the King and his unlimited support for the youth and sports sector to develop Bahrain's MMA sport, boost Bahrain's global presence and participation, and assume such top rankings among the world's national teams. His Honor Sheikh Khalid said that this achievement only affirms that this sport is on the right track to attain even more accomplishments. The General Secretary of the Supreme Council for Women, Halal Ansari, announced through a press conference the launch of the sixth round of Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa's Award for Women Empowerment, which is granted every two years to the ministries, governmental and private sector bureaus that are deemed most supportive of Bahraini working women through their implementation of the principle of equal opportunities and taking their needs into consideration. Al Ansari, who heads the awards jury, said that the main objective of the award is based on an assessment of the efforts by various organizations and entities in supporting working women, striking a balance between the two genders, promoting the principles of good governance and equal opportunities, and encouraging innovation in the field of women empowerment. Al Ansari revealed that the award will include more sectors and entities to be considered as candidates and presented the methodology according but to which winners will be selected. For their part, the members of the jury affirmed the importance and of the award, which they said represents one of the most important initiatives that the Kingdom has put forth in the field of women empowerment. They also affirmed that the award is key in raising Bahrain's profile regionally and globally as a leading country in the field of the empowerment of women. By the end of the press conference, representatives of public, private sector and civil society organizations praised the award and asked a number of questions about the process of selecting the winning candidates. This award over the past 15 years have made uh, advancement of women in Bahrain to go miles ahead. I have no doubt whatsoever that this award had the efforts of Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika Al Khalifa in advancing the woman uh, and giving the woman opportunities to develop herself and to showcase her abilities has gone beyond localization. Today, we are talking about the international internationalism of this uh, significant award. Why internationalism? Because Bahrain has succeeded in demonstrating the role of women and its advancement in all walks of life, in the public sector, private sector, NGOs, and on an individual basis. And the demand was not internal to internationalize this award, but it was external because everybody wanted to benefit from the experience of Bahrain. This is such a huge impact on and for Bahrain uh, in terms of Bahraini women. 
and not in the, as you said, in the local arena, but also in the ter- international arena. Bobco, of course, in its 90 years old history, continues to be, in addition to its role as the biggest contributor to the national economy, to be also uh, have an equal, important and critical role in supporting all the uh, different initiatives, but in particular, the uh, empowerment and progress of women in Bahrain as a key. Now, in particular, uh, I think in recent years, we have got a very close coordination, a very very excellent cooperation with the Supreme Council of Women, where we have developed uh, a number of uh, committees. We've also held a major conference last year, and truly, uh, attending this press conference today has enthused us to do even more. We've given us ideas to go out of the box.